let's get back to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So they acquired two quarterbacks this offseason, as we've mentioned, the veteran Russell Wilson from Denver, the young gun Justin Fields from Chicago. The quarterback competition in full swing until now. Wilson is listed as QB1 on the depth chart. Let's hear from Mike T on Fields. I don't want to squash his natural instincts. You know, um, his mobility and escapability is a weapon. And um, we don't want to we don't want to minimize that. We don't want him overthinking. We want him to play fast and fluid. And so um, if anything, that from a messaging standpoint, I've probably mentioned that to him a few times. He's new to the environment. I don't want him to, you know, overanalyze what we might be thinking. Um, I want him to do what comes natural as it pertains to his game. Yeah, we don't need paralysis by overanalysis. You know, I never overthink, so, you know, I can relate to it. Uh, Mad Dog, better quarterback for Pittsburgh. What's the better fit? Is it Justin Fields or Russell Wilson? Well, I don't think anybody knows yet because Wilson, you know, iffy the last two, three seasons, mm -hmm. and Fields certainly didn't blow anybody away in Chicago. But if it was me, I'm starting Wilson. Uh, I got to let Wilson <clears throat> start. He's got the experience. He's won a Super Bowl. And, you know, it's almost like... It's easier for the Steelers to go to Fields mm -hmm. if Wilson is bad than to go to Wilson if Fields is bad. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, so as a result, I'm going to start Wilson. Yeah, I disagree for a number of reasons. Number one, when you Ooh. look at what Ryan Tannehill did with Arthur Smith in Tennessee, deep play action, really good arm strength, make plays with your legs. That's exactly what Justin Fields could do really well with a good offensive line, two good backs. And secondly, not all quarterback competitions are created equal. Both Fields and Wilson are going to be free agents. Fields is 10 years younger. If it's close, if I'm Pittsburgh, I want to take Justin Fields who's still ascending. And I know the way Mike Tomlin can manage a game. He could play to Fields' strength and then be a team that could run the ball, play great defense. So to me, I see a lot more upside with Fields, whereas Russell Wilson's much more of a band-aid. Before you jump in, do you think they're looking at Fields as the potential future or this is just a stopgap this year? Well, it's a great question. I would talk about... If Fields wins the job, I want to talk to him about an extension, not a blockbuster extension, but I want to have somebody under contract for 2025. Yep. And now I can deal from a position of strength. Yeah. Draft or something else becomes available. You don't want to go into next offseason with no quarterback under contract. Yeah. <sighs> Mad Dog, again. <laughs> Wrong this is a, this again, is a, Kimberly? This is a bad show for you, my Oh, friend. my goodness. I mean, you know I love you to pieces, but you're killing me today. Um, <laughs> I, I'm with you on it is easier to go from Wilson, the vet, the proven vet, to Fields, right? I, I, I get it. But if you're asking me who gives them the better chance to win, it is Fields. And don't you don't have to take my word for it. Listen to Mike Tomlin. He is telling you his mobility and escapability is a weapon. We're going to leave that on the bench? When you are in a division that has Miles Garrett, when it has Matabike, when it has Darius Smith, when it has Kyle Hamilton, like when you have Roquan Smith, oh, yeah, I want my quarterback to be able to move. I want him to be able to get away from that pressure. I want him to be able to create. I want him to have explosive plays. I want him to be able to deliver a dagger, like, on the run. Like, the whole, the whole AFC North, this is a physical, physical division. They will beat quarterbacks up. Justin Fields is younger. He is, I don't want to say he's more talented, but his ceiling, the athleticism, what he's able to do, and Mike Tomlin is literally telling you that all of that is a weapon. He just doesn't have the experience. His whole season, all his seasons in Chicago, it has been up and down. Now he has an opportunity to showcase that he can be a legit number one with saying power. He took I don't a lot think, of sacks in Chicago. I don't yeah. think it's there. I don't think there's a right answer here. I think that, you know, I think you can go either way with it. So, Mad I know you guys want to pass me. This is your first take. It's not oh, right no. answer. Don't you think you're hanging Mad out dog. at lunch at the New Canaan Country Club? We don't hear to say there's no right Well, there isn't. You're supposed to did tell you, the people. You, what I said, by, 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 I said wait, hold on. up. Did you yeah. get invited? Because I'm still waiting for my first invite. Oh, yeah. to the New Canaan Country Club? No, because yeah. I'll smoke his you-know-what. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, I will smoke. I have a two-handed backhand. You won't even. You'll be on your finger, Mad Dog. <laughs> yeah. I played a guy in uh, at Shorehaven the other day. At, really? Uh, came the other day. Yeah. Who had played one at Marist? Really? And did I you won ever... two. And I won two games. So I don't. Did you ever play in the USDA? <laughs> yeah. No. I. Yes, uh, I did the you USDA. Didn't play in the USDA. Those dopey little leagues. All right, here. Again, league. there is not a definitive answer. You saw enough at fields in Chicago to think he's your quarterback of the future. Uh, Why did uh, the Bears get rid of him then? 
Well, because they got Caleb Williams. They well, had the they first pick of the draft. If he was that good, they wouldn't have drafted Caleb Williams. Well, but they also made a mistake because they misevaluated C.J. Stroud. But the point is, if I'm Mike Tomlin, it's a little bit around what Rex Ryan we did on all our great Jet teams, which is you can win with a really good defense, a strong running game, yeah. and a quarterback that can make plays. And that's exactly as Kmart was saying. That's what Justin Fields can do. He can make plays with his feet. And, again, mm -hmm. the way Arthur Smith managed Ryan Tannehill, to me, is a blueprint on how this wow. team can be successful. And, by the way, don't you find it interesting that the one thing Brandon Ayuk does really well, which is stretch the field yards per mm -hmm. catch, is the one thing that Justin Fields does great, which is throw a good deep mm -hmm. ball, which is, again, set up with – heavy play action, I think the pieces fit with Fields and Ayuk. How many Hall of Famers does right now Pittsburgh have on offense? None. How many Hall of Famers does San Francisco have on offense? Probably two. Oh, no. Kittle's a Hall of Famer. McCaffrey's a Hall of Famer. Right. Trent Williams is going to the Hall of Fame. You and Samuel could go to the Hall of Fame. So That's four guys. Debo Samuel's going to the Hall oh, of Fame. Yes, oh, yeah, yes, he is. He's great. Yeah, you don't think so? Well, hey, you, got, you guys stay around for more than like five minutes to be a Hall of Famer. That. Kittle's a Hall of Famer. Williams is a Hall of Famer. Yeah. And McCaffrey's a Hall of Famer. So potentially. So that's three Hall of Famers. Pittsburgh doesn't have any. Right. I'm just saying from a macro standpoint, when you look at the trend in the league, you can run the ball and be effective. Obviously, it's about scoring and the passing game. But I do think yeah, Justin you're, Fields. You're terrible, Mad Dog. Oh, you're just killing me today. By the way, <laughs> by the way, this just, came, this just came in. Justin Fields has been named starter in preseason game versus mm -hmm. Houston. Well, well, well. But Russ is still the, the QB1. Mike, yes. The Mike T's agree. <laughs> you and the Tomlin. Let, let um, me ask I, you this, Kimberly. Do you think a two quarterback system could work for the Steelers when we look at these guys in different strengths? Uh, it's always an option. Uh, Make them prepare for two guys. Honestly, it can, but I would do it sparingly. I'm I'm old school, Mike T. I'm old school. I think if you got more than one quarterback, you don't have any. So yes, I understand in situations. I understand that you know the Saints have done it, your Jets have done it. I I get it. But to me, I'd rather sprinkle that in occasionally, but, but uh, don't force feed, don't beat me over the head with two quarterbacks. Give me one and set him up for success. Guys, here's what's really interesting about that. If you had a defensive head coach here, and I work with Belichick, Parcells, Mangini, Rex, Rex. Dennis Allen, and you mentioned Taysom Hill with the Saints, defensive coaches tell you it's a pain in the ass to defend a quarterback that can make plays with his feet because it changes the spacing. It's 11-on-11 11 11 football. Yeah. So, Molly, it may not be ideal – but let's say Russell Wilson wins the job. Let's say Chris is right. Playing Justin Fields 15 to 20 plays a game, it really impacts your preparation on the other side of the ball. So it becomes a little bit of a force multiplier as well because you can't be as dynamic in terms of the sort of all the blitzes that you want to run because mm -hmm. you're preparing for a different package. And Mike just might have answered his own question. Why? Maybe you're better off playing Wilson because you can – starting him – because you can put packages in for – fields and you can get him three or four possessions where you can do exactly what Mike said and you can't do that the other way I around. I get it. I don't, so maybe you start him for that reason. I get it. Right? But don't make yep. Justin feels like some sort of gadget guy. Like I don't I don't he has the capabilities, he has the ability, he has the mobility, the athleticism and the arm strength to be your number one quarterback. So I I, I hear you take advantage of both of those skill sets. But you're in a situation where both of these guys are not on your roster next year. That the way their contracts are set up, no, neither of them right now is guaranteed to be on your roster. Like I, I think we got to make a decision on, on Justin Fields sooner than later because he does have a potential future. Like he he's got several more years compared but, to. Okay, Bart. If I'm Justin Fields, would I really have 15 plays a game or none? Like I. Yes, yes, yes. But if I'm also Justin Fields. I've said to the reporters, I didn't come in here just to be on the sideline. I came in here to make this my job. So, yes, early in the season, you want to you know, get people off guard. They haven't seen the new Steelers offense. Okay, run, give me my packages. I'll do it. But at some point, if I'm Justin Fields, give me that starting job. That's what I'm looking for. Who do you think has more at stake when you look at these two guys? Because you could argue, you know, they're both playing for their NFL livelihood as a starter. Yeah. I, th I think it's Fields because, Molly, he's really never been established as a frontline starter. At least Russell Wilson's had success, Super Bowl starter. And to me, like, the one thing you don't want to be if you're Justin Fields is a journeyman, meaning three teams in three years because people are going to say, well, what happened in Chicago? Okay, a little weird. Yeah. You were inherited. They had a chance to get Caleb Williams. Mike Tomlin's a great coach. Mike Tomlin's a first ballot Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. You can't be successful for him if the four of us were running an NFL team and we needed a quarterback – and also, Justin Fields is available. The first question the four of us would be saying to ourselves is like, 
Why didn't Mike Tomlin want to keep him? So if I'm Justin Fields, this is a massively critical, important year in terms of how I'm look, viewed as either a starter or a journeyman. But if this season, if the Steelers season goes down the toilet, right? Do you see Justin Fields on a roster next year or Russell Wilson? Like if, if Russell Wilson doesn't have a good season, you see him as somebody's backup next year? more so than you could see Justin Fields on an NFL roster? I give Russell Wilson a lot of credit. He could have made the same $39 million yeah, that on, Chris makes each year. Sitting right here with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Sitting right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not that much. Yeah. 25, not 39. Go ahead. But, <laughs> but, but in all seriousness, <laughs> look at Molly. That's cool. And he's telling I, these guys cool. $50 million. Cool. $50 million I don't is play enough. for the money. I play for the love of the game. I'll That's just, my philosophy. I'll just collect the scraps. That's Carry on. Philosophy. Yes. Go ahead, but, Michael. But in all seriousness, Give Russell Wilson a ton of credit, guys. He could have sat at home, yeah. made $39 million, and done nothing. He loves football. He's playing for a million bucks in Pittsburgh. I give him a ton of credit. That says a lot about what he thinks about the game and his competitiveness. But he also knows that his career is winding down. It's also like, I need to I I get, get out there. It's also like, I want to stay in the mix. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep I it I love dry. that inspirational story about oh. the big sacrifice. Yeah. But you already got paid. <laughs> like, you're who trying to, who is trying he trying to, to fool? You're trying Honestly. to stay in the league. Right. Is, this is going to be very interesting for Wilson because if he has a bad year right now, is he a Hall of Fame quarterback? Well, I mean, you're putting somebody in the Hall of Fame every 10 minutes. <laughs> well, no, Ooh. Wilson's, you know. Yeah, I, know I know what you mean. Right. I know what you mean. After it, Denver, if, it, if it's and, really bad, does that turn? I mean, I mean, he's been I don't know. I think he's already one, in the one. Hall of Fame. Is he a Hall of Fame? He goes out here and lays another egg, laid an egg in Denver, didn't finish well in Seattle. That's going to be in the voters' minds. Right. I think that's very interesting here for him. You agree yeah. with that? Yes. Okay. You agree with that? I don't agree with you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Why do you need confirmation? You may continue. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And, I, you and I don't need validation and permission. <laughs>